Are you fed up of farming mushrooms, corn or other basic resources to get little amounts of gold in last oasis, which let's face it, you can't really buy things with since everything is overpriced? Also, you can only sell so much mushrooms and corn before the trading station doesn't need your supply anymore. This means you will need to travel to another oasis, locate that trading station and go sell your mushrooms there, so you can make some gold, if someone already hasn't been there to sell his mushrooms. Well, you can see how this can be frustrating for players. But don't fear, in this video I will be showing you what you need to farm and sell at the trading station in order to become filthy rich and never worry about gold again in Last Oasis. But before I do, please consider hitting that subscribe button as I am trying to hit my first thousand subscribers. So without further ado, enjoy the video. It's important to have gold in Last Oasis because there will always be things you struggle to get. For me personally, I struggle getting certain types of modules like weight modules. So that's where I tend to spend my gold on when I find them for the right price on at trading markets. But farming mushrooms or basic resources takes just too long and I can't be bothered wasting my time farming that and driving to multiple oases to sell it because the demand of these basic resources is very little because it can be gathered very easily. Also, you don't want to farm a bunch of basic resources which you need for crafts just to sell it to make gold and having to refarm them later for other crafts. That's just not efficient at all. So basically, according to this logic, hard to farm resources or rare resources have more value, which is correct. So let me show you what you need to farm which doesn't take too much effort. Also, you don't need to drive to other oasis to sell it because the demand is very high for it at trading markets. All you will need is a walker, a host station, a good pickaxe, and to be at the center of a hard map where the volcanoes are located. So when you are close to these volcanoes, you simply need to put water in your host station, man it, and host the volcanic crater, which will make a certain type of solid rock, and when you farm this with a pickaxe, you will get obsidian. This resource is currently not used for anything, as there are no crafting recipes that use obsidian at the moment. But that doesn't matter. The goal here is to farm a lot of obsidian and go to the trading station and sell it, which will make you really rich really fast. I would recommend going to farm this with the stiletto, as the stiletto can hold a ton, or having at least a few pack mill modules on that walker because obsidian weighs a lot. Normally you can carry about 75 before you are encumbered and cannot move anymore. Also go farm this with multiple people at the same time and split the profit equally. Farming it with 2 to 4 people makes the job a lot more efficient and you will gather a lot more in less time. Also please be careful of the crab, he is always lurking somewhere around the middle part of the hard zone. Here we are, back again at the trade station. Three men who have worked hard for a solid 20 to 30 minutes. We are sweating from head to toes, but we are ready for our big payday. We are splitting up the resources equally and we are ready to cash it in. And what happens next will surprise you. As it surprised me for the first time. Because of how much gold we will be getting from farming a resource most people don't even know of. Just look at that. Each stack of 100 obsidian is roughly worth 24,000 gold. This price obviously varies from trading station to trading station. As you can see there is a pretty big demand for obsidian at trading station. More or less 7 to 10 thousand per oasis. And this is a resource people don't even bother farming. Or like I mentioned before, don't even know how to farm. So next time you are farming that mushroom and you are thinking of trading it for some gold, don't do it. Put it in a crusher and make some earth wax because farming obsidian is a lot more efficient and effective as you can see by my last oasis wallet. Well guys this was it for my video on how to get filthy rich in last oasis. If you enjoyed and learned something from this video smash that like button. Also let me know down in the comment section below which resource have you been farming to make gold until now. Also if you could subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me. Thanks again and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.